Hello everyone, welcome back to Legend of Mystics. I'm your host, Diana Priyanka Chaudhry, and today we're going to talk about Anubis, the guardian of the dead in the Egyptian pantheon of gods. Anubis is the son of Osiris and Osiris's sister-in-law, Nefret, I believe that's her name, uh, because she... Uh, seduced Osiris to sleep uh, with her and produced Anubis as a child. When Seth found out about it, obviously uh, he wasn't happy with his brother Osiris and went ahead and killed him, effectively sending him to the underworld. Now, Anubis, who was the ruler of the underworld, was such a loyal and... um, loving, kind uh, personality that he resurrected his father and made his father, Osiris, the king of the underworld and became the um, protector of the dead instead. Not only that, when uh, Seth came to kill Osiris a second time in the form of a leopard, um, Osiris was protected by Anubis, uh, so he was a really uh, devoted son, one must say. So, as the story goes, when Egyptians died, Anubis protected them and brought them to the underworld where he weighed their hearts against a feather. The feather represented the purity, honesty, and the worthiness of a soul to enter heaven. If the heart was heavier than the feather, then uh, the soul that heart uh, belonged to would be eaten by an alligator god. Ahmet, Ahmet, I believe, was her name. I'm sorry if I'm butchering the names. Uh, So, if, however... The heart was lighter than the feather. The soul who the heart belonged to would be able to live an eternity of blissful peace in the um, afterlife. Anubis is also the god who uh, is uh, revered and who is known for creating the mummification process. So uh, not only is he the protector of the dead, he is also the one who preserves their um, decaying body in the human world in the form of mummification. Now, there are several takeaways that I can take uh, from this uh, story of Anubis. Firstly, um, Anubis's role as a very faithful, devoted son shows that um, your familial bonds must be upkept even in death. So, in a lot of uh, other cultures, this is shown where, for example, in Greek mythology, um, Hades, one of the sons of Kronos, who didn't, um, who didn't uh, get the throne or wasn't as uh, popular, let's say, as Zeus for sure. Or even Poseidon, who presided over the underworld, was um, in charge of fairness and making sure that uh, good souls enter the heaven, the Greek equivalent, and bad souls burn in uh, Hades for the rest of their lives. So um, he made sure that sins like against family or murder of uh, biological relationships was punished accordingly. Or in the Hindu pantheon of gods, Yam, who was the son of Sun, um, got the position of a ruler of the underworld. And there are also stories about how loyal he was to his father, Uh, my second takeaway from this is, uh, dogs and jackal figures, you know, being represented of loyalty and of guardianship, 
um, in Egyptian uh, mythology, just like uh, in uh, Greek mythology, the three-headed dog Cerberus uh, is. Also, um, I find it really amazing uh, that the process of mummification um, was created so that the eternal soul's decaying body was even respected. Now, uh, in a lot of cultures, we see the representations of bodies being sacred after death so that they're buried, they're burned, um, but they're somehow returned to the earth, be it form of ash or be it form of decaying bodies buried under earth. But I find it amazing that in uh, Egyptian mythology, even the decaying body is revered and protected. Uh, last thing I would say is that what's unlike a lot of other mythologies that is different with Anubis and his running of the underworld is that you don't really see torture of the uh, souls that are deemed unworthy. Like unlike, uh, unlike in hell in Christian, Christian mythology or uh, Naraka in Hindu mythology where the damned souls burn for eternity. Here, it's either deal or no deal. Your soul will be destroyed and taken out of the universe completely if you're deemed unworthy. So, um, a lot of cultures, in or humanity in general, enforces good behavior towards each other, um, good actions, by making sure to uh, give you a boogeyman, an eternal boogeyman. You know, like, you're not going to go to heaven if you behave badly, if you murder, steal, sleep with other people's wives and whatnot. Or, hey, you're going to burn in hell for the rest of eternity if you um, continuously cheat, fraud people and all that. That's a fear-based system. Um... But even there, the soul is eternal. So you'll either eternally be punished or eternally be uh, happy. However, the amazing thing about uh, Anubis' Egyptian uh, afterlife is that there, there is no two ways about it. Be good and stay happy or be bad and uh, cease to exist. So these are my takeaways from this story. If you like this video, please share, like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below so we can connect. And um, don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can get updates on all my future uploads. Alright, that's it for now. Thank you. Bye.